pretty awesome right and let me tell you it is completely free and it does not lag at all it is so so smooth and you can do whatever you like you can watch videos you can film with your phone you can even record your screen yeah let's dive right into it hey what is going on everybody i'm Riz, and in this video i'm going to show you how you can connect or screen share your mobile phone or android phone to your computer or your laptop. Absolutely free and it's so, so awesome. As I showed you before, it's really, really awesome. By the way, I apologize. I know a lot of people are commenting that I talk fast. I apologize in advance. I'm gonna try, so I'm gonna try to keep it down as best as I can, okay? So now, let's get into the video. By the way, if you're not subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe and now let's dive in. Alright, so the first thing you want to do on your computer or your laptop is to go to iMyPhone Mirror 2 website. It's a completely free tool and I've been doing this for a long, long time now and I can tell you this is probably one of the best tools out there, okay? Alright, so once you're on this screen, all you need to do is to just click on free and download. As you can see, I've downloaded for six times now, okay? Once the download is complete, all you need to do is just click on it and uh, just install it, okay? So just click on, I've read all the agreed um, agreements and everything. If you want to custom, if you want a custom installation, you can do that, but I would not recommend it. Just click install, oh, 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 oh. Just click install, it should automatically install it for you. I've done this before, so I'm not gonna do it again, okay? So let me just close this. All right, so once the installation is complete, it should look exactly like this, okay? So you have multiple options. You can go into, you can you can play with the settings if you want to. I would not recommend it unless you bought the actual tool, which I which is which is fine by the way. The free works as well. Free works just as good as the uh, paid one, okay? So don't worry about that. All right, so once you're on this screen, and now it's time to mirror the Android phone to your computer or your laptop using Mirror 2, okay? Let's do this. All right, so the Mirror 2 is up and running on the computer. By the way, if you're using laptop, that is completely okay, okay? It works just as good on any laptop. I'm just using my desktop computer for this example, okay? It works just as good on any laptop. You can do this exact same process on your laptop. All right, so once the Mirror 2 is up and running on your computer, I have my Xiaomi phone next to me. All we need to do now is to connect that Android phone to your uh, computer or your laptop using the USB cable. So all we need to do is just plug in the USB cable to your computer and that is it, okay? So just plug your Android phone, doesn't matter what phone, just plug it in and it's gonna automatically connect it. By the way, if the uh, if you don't have the USB debugging enabled on your computer, the uh, Mirror 2 software is gonna show you step-by-step -step instructions on how you can enable the USB debugging on your phone. So I've got a Xiaomi phone, so it's showing me exactly what I need to do on my Xiaomi phone. So if you are using Samsung phone, it's gonna show you exactly what you need to do on your Samsung phone. So I'll, all I'm doing is just following the instructions and that is it, okay? I'm not doing anything fancy or anything like that. All I'm doing is to just follow the instruction to enable the USB debugging on the phone, okay? So just follow the on-screen on instructions and enable the USB debugging on your phone. And don't worry about it, it's completely safe, okay? You're doing this to your phone, it is really, it is nothing, nothing fancy or anything like that. It's really, really safe, okay? So just go, to, just follow the instructions and make sure your uh, USB debugging is, in, uh, is, make sure the USB debugging is enabled on your phone. All right, so once you find the USB debugging, all you need to do is just enable it and uh, wait for eight seconds, I'm sure. I just, I don't know if it works exactly like uh, it works with other brands, but it is Xiaomi, so all you need to do is just wait a few seconds and click OK. Once you do that, it's gonna ask for permissions once more, okay, before connecting. Now, see, it's asking for permissions. All we need to do is just wait for the permissions to prompt on your phone, and all. That, that's pretty much it. And there you go. It's asking for the permissions, so just click OK, and uh, just wait a few seconds. Not even a few seconds, probably. There you go. It's connected. Pretty, pretty awesome, right? And you have a lot of uh, a lot of options, by the way. It is so smooth, does not lag at all, and it's completely free. So the only downside is it's uh, it it needs a cable to do this. But it, I mean, it's okay, right? It's okay. So 
It's really lag free. It's pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. And it's really HD as well. So you can uh, record your uh, Android screen. By the way, if you disconnect it, it's gonna automatically, of course, obviously disconnect. And look how quick it automatically, automatically connects it back, okay? So just wait for it. Wait for a few seconds. And it's asking for, asking for permissions, okay? So just click try again. And there you go. Click OK. And it's gonna automatically connect again doesn't you don't need to do that process all over again okay there you go pretty awesome right you can use the cameras you can you can play video games if you want to you can record iPhone you can record your screen you can do whatever you like okay you can even watch movies if you want to by the way so yeah pretty pretty awesome and by the way if you have any questions do let me know in the comment section below I will definitely definitely get back to you okay you can also go full screen mode by clicking the uh, full screen mode right next to the record icon three there you go okay so but the full screen mode works only for the uh for the lanes for the games and movies and stuff okay it doesn't work if you uh it doesn't work the the way you want it to okay so it, the full screen mode only works uh, if you want to play games if you want to watch movies or something if you want to watch a video or something that's how you do that okay so, uh, all right, so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you liked the tutorial. By the way, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely get back to you, okay? So this is it for me. I'm Riz, and, uh, and I'll catch you in the next one, okay? Peace out.